Safety chains are not only an important component in the equipment that's required to pull a trailer, but they're also required by law, so it's very important to use these. When it comes time to hook up our safety chains, one of the first things you'll want to do is take the time to inspect the chain to make sure it's not damaged. Look at all the links, look at your S hook, also inspect the place where the chain is attached to the trailer. In this case, it's a bolt. We want to make sure that, that bolt's tight and that it's not bent or twisted. Uh, if you have the type of chain that's welded, to the side of the trailer using a loop, you want to check the weld on that loop to make sure that it's not cracked or otherwise damaged. Now, we're going to hook these chains up by crossing them. I'm going to cross them underneath the tongue of the trailer. You don't want to go up over the top because the chain can get wedged up between the coupler and the ball. So take the one from the passenger side of the trailer and hook it up to the driver's side of the hitch. And take the one from the driver's side of the trailer and hook it up to the passenger side of the hitch. It's a good idea to take these hooks and hook them in from the back side. They're less likely to fall out. The reason why we cross these chains is if we ever did have separation from the truck for whatever reason, the chains form a cradle and would prevent the tongue of the trailer from coming all the way down on the roadway. Now, if you don't have enough clearance between the bottom of the chains and the top of the road, you can always take the chain loose and put a couple of twists in it to draw up some of that slack. We want to try to maintain about three to five inches between the bottom of the chain and the top of the road.